This is the Wi-Fi candy bowl monitor, and you're looking at a candy bowl that's been modified a little bit. So on the left is an infrared light sensor, and on the right is an infrared LED. And what this lets you do is detect if something's inside of the bowl, so it's blocking the light from the LED getting to the sensor. And if the bowl is empty like this, then the light can travel to the sensor, and you can detect that with a microcontroller. And this is hooked up to an Arduino Nano, that's attached to a CC3000 wireless chip. And what that allows you to do is expose the sensor to the web. Uh, and specifically, it runs a Telnet server that you can connect to remotely and ask if the bowl is full of candy or if it's empty. And I'll show you that. So right here is just a terminal session on my computer. And you can see above here, this is the serial output from the Arduino and it's on IP address 192.168.1.135. So if I telnet to that address, then you can see it connects to the server, and I can ask it a simple command, just a question mark, and it's going to tell me that the candy bowl status is low. So what that's doing is it's sending a quick pulse through the LED and picking it up with the sensor to see that there's nothing inside of the candy bowl. Now if I fill it with candy, and you can see my assistant is helping me here. Now let's see what happens when I send the same question to it. You can see it's full, and so what's happening is the candy is blocking the path of light between the LED and the sensor, and it's being picked up and exposed through the Telnet server to my computer over here. And this is an enhancement to the Candy Bowl server, so it's now running a multicast DNS server that resolves names like candybowl.local to the IP address of the server, so you can just type in directly Telnet candybowl.local. And you'll see that it connects to the server, and I can send the same question, and it's going to tell me the same status here, that the candy bowl is full. So that's the Wi-Fi Candy Bowl Monitor project.